let's create a movie from Flash. So you have your picture. We're going to highlight, right click. We're going to convert to a movie symbol here, movie clip, OK. And I'm going to double click into this Goomba, double click. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a keyframe, right click on frame 5, insert keyframe, and then right click near frame 9, insert frame. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, looks like I have one extra frame there. Shift F5 deletes frames, and whereas F5 inserts frames. So right now nothing's changing, so on this keyframe here, the second one, I'm going to go to Modify, Transform, Flip, Flip, um, Horizontal, Flip Horizontal. So we have uh, the walking animation here as my movie. Go to Scene 1. Notice how we have a green stage. If you click on the stage with a selection tool, you have a green stage here. We're going to do a green screen effect here. And what I'll do here now, this is a movie, is start on the left. Let's right click, create classic tween. And let's go to, uh, let's uh, scroll out to frame 120 ish. Right click, insert keyframe. And I'm going to press the arrow keys. If you press the shift arrow, it moves more quickly. So when I scrub back to the beginning and I, I press control enter, you can see it's animating, and I want to make this into a movie. So what I'll do is go to File, uh, Export. Now let's see, Export Movie. And the drop-down option is not going to be a Swift. It's going to be a QuickTime MOV file. And I'm going to call this Goomba. Click on Save. And we have successfully, let's export, uh, created a video file with a green screen. Now, of course, if you don't want 550 by 400 as your stage size, you can even try to match uh, the movie that you want to work with. For example, um, uh, you might want to go uh, look at the presets, see what uh, resolution you have. You might want to change this. But there's your movie file, and now you can uh, bring it in and apply the green screen effect using the chroma key, using some other software.